Okay, I'm doing this uh, live. I usually don't do this because then when it doesn't work and I've got to backtrack on it, but I was kind of quite frustrated and I couldn't find a solution. Everybody is switching about removing thumbnails, doing a little command, uh, command prompt, switching off Explorer, doing all the things, going into the back end, switching on thumbnails, off thumbnails, caches, nothing of that helped. And then I came across this uh, clip, which is code tweak. So go to freecodex.com. Um, and yes, freecodex.com. I'm on the one with forward slash download, forward slash codec tweaks. Maybe I must just copy this and let me just save that so that I can share it with you. Uh, notes, a very sophisticated note making tool. Okay, so I made a note with that. So this is a situation that I'm up with. So I've tried just about everything. I've gone in and I've said, okay, uh, open with, and then I say choose app, and then I allocate, you know, a new app. And I've tried all different ones. I've downloaded the CC Player free ones, all the others. All that happens is that the icon changes here, but I don't see the preview. And trust me, I've, I've been going through lots of videos and everybody gives you the three steps and that or three options and nothing seems to work. So I am now at, I'm just moving around to the second screen. I'm now at the stage that I downloaded this tool. I went here, yeah, it's freeware. And usually when there's freeware, just make sure if you're clicking with the install that you don't kind of accept. Sometimes it comes a, along with a additional program as part of the freeware. So just make sure. But I'll go through it with you. So we, yeah, um, I think I must just bring this across here. So we maybe make it off the screen and that the other off of the screen. Um, for those people who don't know what I did there is, if you have different windows open, you can just grab it, drag it to the side. You will see there's like a little area that pops up. You see that happen? And you let go and it will fill off the screen. It will show you any of the other screens you have open. And then you just click on that and it takes the other off. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I'm not going to open the folder there. I'm going to just click and let it run. See if it does anything on this side here. Okay. It's warning me. Okay. You saw what I did there. I clicked on the side there and then we say run anyway. Okay, so what do we have here? General fixes, let's just go fixes, detect and remove broken, deregister, Windows icon cache. Okay, I'm not too sure yet, I'm gonna just click apply, see what it comes up with. It's doing its thing. It's just on that default setting. Okay. It's white. It, it seems to be running through doing something. The codec tweak tool has scanned the Windows registry. Your codec related inconsistencies found invalid data. Okay, I'm going to say, would you like me to fix it? I say yes. I'm not sure what I'm asking to fix. It's just the default. So I say yes. I'm going to say yes. I don't even know how to interpret all of that. Okay, so that was general fixes. Oh, now I see this codec fixes and thumbnails. So let me click thumbnails. I'm going to click include MP4. It seems that MP4 wasn't selected here. Petrosky, I'll put that on. Also say select all that would make better sense. Enable more. Okay, so if I enable more, it's... Okay, let me not do that. That would probably make these available also. I, I, I'm wanting the MP4s to show, let's say apply and close. Okay, yes, there we go, there we go. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, man, and, and look here, I know guys sometimes run videos and then they say they're doing it to check it out for the first time. Um, I really did that now. Um, it's my first video that I'm doing in real time just to check it out. Uh, if it didn't work, I'd have just said that's my extra failure. So here is the little icon. Okay, so there was a setting previously that they said show the little icon on the thumbnail or switch it off. Um, I'm not going to even go down that road now because I was going through all of those checks and nothing was helping. So there we go. 
Okay, so I don't know if that's been of help to you. Codec tweak tool. Uh, go download this and then try to bring this back to you. I'm, I'm very happy. I know previously I had a similar problem and then I, I don't know what whether it was. I don't think it was this program. It was just a, a another media viewer that by default changed all the thumbnails like this. But this seems to be a great tool and it um, I thought it's just for thumbnails, but it's thumbnails and general fixes, etc. I'm not going to worry to go through this other stuff because I don't have really issues with it. But this is worthwhile uh, getting excited about. Thanks, folk. So if you're frustrated, maybe that's going to help you out sometime. Okay, I thought I'd actually go and check if I can remember what that program was that did the thumbnails for me previously. Because I had the situation previously, but I couldn't remember what it was. And I recalled when I, if you go back in the video and, and I click to add the other codecs, those other three that were blanked out, there was a pop-up dialogue and one of the lines there said k dash light. Then I remembered that was it. I went to go look it up now and this is it. And I do recall this three to one story. So I had the problem before where the, the thumbnails disappeared and I think I used this program. For the life of me, I couldn't remember this program's name, and that's why I went through the other route now. But the other program that I just showed you now has actually more, more sort of advanced features. With the K-Light thing, I just installed the player and the thumbnails reappeared. Okay, so that, that is it, K-Light K codec pack. And that you can get from code, codeseeguide.com. Okay, you can download it from there. I'll see if I can make a thing in the description also, a link to that one. Cool.